Hey gearheads, welcome back to the channel where we break down everything automotive in a way that's easy to understand and fun to watch. I'm your go-to auto tech, and today we're diving into one of the most debated topics in the car world, torque versus horsepower. What's the difference? Why do they matter? And which one's the real king of the road? Buckle up because we're about to take you on a ride full of stories, science, and a little bit of engine magic. Let me tell you a story. Picture this. It's 1970 and my Uncle Joe is tearing down the drag strip in his Dodge Charger, a beast pumping out massive torque that pins you to the seat. Fast forward to today, I'm test driving a Tesla Model S Plaid, and its instant acceleration feels like a rocket launch. Both cars are fast, but they feel different. Why? It's all about torque and horsepower and how they work together to make your car move. By the end of this video, you'll understand what makes your car feel like a beast at the stoplight or a champ on the highway. So, let's pop the hood on these two terms and break it down. Let's start with torque. Think of torque as the muscle of your engine. It's the twisting force that gets things moving. In car terms, torque is what you feel when you slam the gas pedal and your car surges forward, pinning it back in your seat. It's measured in pound-feet in the U.S. or newton meters elsewhere. Here's how it works. When your engine's pistons fire, they push the crankshaft, creating that rotational force. More torque means more force to turn the wheels, which is why big trucks and muscle cars, like that old Charger, have tons of torque for towing heavy loads or burning rubber at the line. For example, a diesel truck might have 800 pound-feet of torque. That's why it can haul a boat up a hill without breaking a sweat. But torque alone isn't the whole story. Let's talk about its partner in crime, horsepower. Horsepower is all about speed. It's a measure of how quickly your engine can do work over time. Back in the day, James Watt, yep, the steam engine guy, came up with horsepower to compare engines to horses. One horsepower equals about 550 foot-pounds of work per second. While torque is the raw force, horsepower is about sustaining that force at higher speeds. Think of a Formula One car. It might not have as much torque as a truck, but its high horsepower lets it scream down the track at 200 miles an hour. Horsepower is why sports cars feel so fast on the highway. Here's a quick way to think about it. Torque gets you off the line. Horsepower keeps you going. But here's the kicker. They're connected. Horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 5252. This formula shows that horsepower depends on torque and how fast your engine spins, or RPM. That's why high-revving engines, like in a Honda Civic Type R, can produce big horsepower even with less torque. Let's bring this to life. Imagine you're at a stoplight in a Dodge Hellcat with 650 pound-feet of torque. The light turns green and boom, you're launched forward, tires screeching. That's torque at work. Now you're on the highway in a Porsche 911 Turbo S cruising at 150 miles an hour. That's horsepower keeping you pinned to the pavement. Here's where it gets fun. Cars with high torque, like electric vehicles, feel instant because their motors deliver max torque from zero RPM. That's why a Tesla can outrun a gas-powered supercar off the line. But on a long straightaway, a high horsepower car, like a Corvette, might catch up because it's built for sustained speed. So, which is better? It depends on what you're doing. Towing? Go for torque. Racing, horsepower is your friend. Daily driving, you want to balance of both. Let's bust a myth. Horsepower is all that matters. Not true. A car with tons of horsepower but low torque might feel sluggish off the line. And another fun fact, electric cars like the Remax C2 have insane torque and horsepower, rewriting the rules of performance. Also, ever wonder why diesel engines have so much torque but less horsepower? It's because they're designed to run at lower RPMs, maximizing that twisting force for heavy-duty work. So, there you have it, folks. Torque is the grunt that gets you moving, and horsepower is the juice that keeps you flying. Together, they're the dynamic duo that defines how your car performs. Whether you're a drag racer, a track junkie, or just cruising to work, understanding torque and horsepower helps you appreciate the engineering under your hood. Which do you prefer? Torque or horsepower? Drop a comment below and let's start a debate. If you learned something new, smash that like button, 
hit subscribe, and ring the bell for more car tips and tricks. Until next time, keep your engine revving and your tires spinning. Thanks for watching. Check out these videos for more automotive awesomeness, and I'll see you in the next one.